Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and welcome to episode 3 on this Lionel Pennsylvania Railroad Tuscan K4. In the last episode of this series, I showed you the progress I had made on the electronics inside the engine. I also showed you uh, some of the drilling I had to do to modify uh, the, the shell for the new lighting, and I showed you some of the um, installation of the uh, new uh, smoke unit and the electronics because originally this was a conventional engine and I had to install the new legacy electronics. And I showed you the motherboard and the motor and the smoke unit and of course the new smoke, in smoke unit. And then finally, the uh, there was also the uh, rail sounds and the tender, and there was that little firebox PCB. And now in this video, I'm going to show you the progress I've made since then on installing the new wiring for the new smoke unit for the whistle steam. In this picture, you can see the new, uh, or you can see the new wiring for the smoke unit over on the left. Uh, one of those four pin connectors is the new wire. But you can also just see the uh, the organized wires. In the last video, the wires weren't very organized. Uh, stuff was all over the place. And uh, nothing was really complete. In this picture, everything is complete. The wiring is done. There's nothing else for me to do. And overall, looks a lot more presentable. Obviously, the wiring is on the inside of the engine, and you will never see it. But I like to know that the wires aren't going to rub against something that's moving or rub against something like the smoke unit that gets hot and things could then melt and short out and that wouldn't be good of course. In this picture you can just see up into the boiler. Uh, I've put some more zip ties on the wires and overall just made everything look more presentable as I said before. Uh, not much else has happened here. Uh, the wiring for the most part stayed the same uh, but on the right you can actually see the new wiring for the smoke unit and uh, the, new, the new smoke unit itself, so let's take a look at that. Here you can see the new wiring for the smoke unit. It's that four pin connector uh, with uh, the wires with the little pins on them. Uh, this is all new. It looks uh, really good and of course functions uh, really well as uh, it's connected now. Uh, so now let's just go take a look at one other thing I forgot to show in the last video. And that other thing is this uh, firebox PCB. Uh, this is the front of it with the little red uh, chip and then a bunch of the LEDs. And these LEDs uh, flash back and forth to create a flickering effect. Uh, so now uh, that, that I've shown you everything, uh, let's go to the layout and run it around and show off the whistle steam. So now let's take a look at the whistle steam in action on this engine. I think it looks really, really good, and the way it shoots out uh, is just, it looks really cool. So now that we've seen the whistle steam, uh, let's run the engine around for a little. As always, like, subscribe and click the bell for notifications, comment below, and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.